Hi, my name is David Duart. I co-chair with Sebastian Vicuña the IPCC task group on data support for climate change assessments, whose objective is to improve access to IPCC data, both for IPCC authors and also scientists that rely on the IPCC reports. This presentation is meant to give an overview of the work done in ARA 6 to make IPCC data accessible and reusable. The work heavily relies on the IPCC Data Distribution Center, the DDC, and technical support units from the different working groups, the TSUs. I'll be introducing TG Data briefly and then let Martina Stakhauser present the DDC and Anna Pirani present the work done by Working Group 1 TSU. So the task group on data support for climate change assessment was created in 2019 and is the successor to TGICA. TGICA was itself created in 1997 to provide regional climate change information with a focus on capacity building. TGICA published numerous guidelines on socioeconomic scenarios, greenhouse gas scenarios, sea level scenarios, and statistical downscaling. Now, TG data is focused less on capacity building and more on data access and reusability. Uh, our mandate is to provide guidance to the IPCC Data Distribution Center, to provide curation, transparency, and traceability of data and scenarios. Also to facilitate the access of data for IPCC authors and facilitate the availability and use of climate change related data resulting from the activities of the IPCC in accordance with the mandate of the IPCC. And the mandate of the IPCC is to assess the state of the scientific literature on all aspects of climate change, its impacts and society's options for responding to it. And so scientists from hundreds of independent institutions around the world volunteer their time and energy to review the scientific literature, judge the strength of the evidence, and synthesize it into key messages. The objective is for the report to be as rigorous as possible with an open review process, collecting comments from expert reviewers around the world. And for example, in ARA 6, over 180,000 comments were collected for the first and second drafts of the three working groups, and each and every one of these comments was given a response. As a consequence of this very thorough review process, the reports are authoritative and widely cited. However, it has not always been easy to access the data underlying the report to, for example, reproduce IPCC figures and tables. So one of the key objectives for TG data has been to make ar 6 data findable, accessible, and reusable. What this means in practice is archiving a snapshot of the key data sets presented in the report, but also publishing the data underlying key graphics, as well as the code used to create those. This is useful to scientists who want to build upon work done by ARA 6 authors, but also to find and fix any error making its way into the report. Our main objective for the sixth cycle is to publish and archive the data underlying figures and tables found in the summary for policymakers for all three working groups as well as for the synthesis report. The DDC is also working to preserve a snapshot of the core CMIP6 and CORDEX data used by IPCC authors, as well as other key biophysical and socioeconomic datasets. Archiving and publishing those datasets requires an enormous amount of work and coordination. Distributed among ARA6 authors, technical support staff, and data distribution centers. And now I'll let Martina present the DDC and its data creation activities. My name is Martina Stockhauser from the German Climate Computing Center, and I will introduce the IPCC Data Distribution Center. The Data Distribution Center is overseen by TG Data, which was also already introduced by David, but it also is represented in TG Data as ex officio members, and the TSUs also send ex officio members to the, the task group TG Data. In the sixth assessment re report, the DDC partners are five at the moment with, with different roles and responsibilities. So metadata works and the Center for Environmental Data Analysis in the UK are responsible mainly for final data archival. The German Climate Computing Center and the Center for International Earth Science Information Network in the US are responsible for input data archival 
And the fifth partner, the Spanish Research Council, is responsible or hosting the interactive atlas of Working Group 1. The DDC was established in 1997 in Germany and the UK. The main objectives of the DDC are described in a DDC guidance document from 2018. And they are to support the IPCC assessment report and the DDC users um, in relation to data questions. The DDC partners operate based on a memorandum of understanding. The DDC, as any other repository, are guided by best practices in data management and data long-term preservation. And I'd like to name the two most important here, the FAIT data principles, findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable data, and the trust principles describing the effort of research data repositories. Trust stands for traceability, responsibility, user focus, sustainability, and technology. The World Data System is a cooperation partner of the DDC, and the established DDC partners are regular members of the WDS. These guiding principles or best practices went into the formulation of the IPCC AR6 FAIR guidelines, which I will briefly introduce now. The FAIR guidelines aim at enhancing the transparency of IPCC's reports and other outputs. And they do that in three aspects. First, to enhance the traceability of key statements, and that is focusing on the figure creation process, which is documented in the supplementary materials, starting with input data, usage information, information on scripts, which were applied to the data to create the final data, which are um, displayed in figures. The second enhancement for the traceability are references from the report to the data and in the other direction. The second aspect is credit. Credit has two sides. The first is that you give credit to those who provided input data sets and that is done by the authors in the report. And the second is that you, the authors can receive credit for their final data sets because the final data sets get uh, DUIs assigned to them. The last aspect is the long-term preservation, which is the main um, responsibility of the DDCs. So the input data sets which have no home in a trustworthy repository are curated and archived in the DDC. The same is true for the final data. Scripts are currently archived in Zenodo. The whole archival process is the collaboration between the working group TSUs and the DDCs. And with that, I'd like to hand over to Anna, who will introduce the work and the responsibilities of the technical support units. Hello, I'm Anna Parani, the head of the Working Group 1 Technical Support Unit. And following on from Martina's talk, I'll be describing the role of the TSU and aspects related to data in the reports. So the TSU is the team that supports the author's work in undertaking the assessments. We are overseen by the Working Group Bureau and we're advised um, by TG Data on data aspects. So the, re the report authors, um, as part of their undertaking, they uh, produce figures to illustrate the assessments and to give you an idea of the scale of this effort, uh, there are about 650 figures as part of the AR6 Working Group 1 report. So the TSU provides a range of um, support from guidance and training, figure management. Uh, we work with authors to develop full data and script documentation. We have a working group one GitHub repository where we assemble scripts and we can work with the authors to publish the code uh, using Zenodo. And we also work with the IPCC secretariat when there are queries on reusing, reproducing figures. So Martina has described the role of the DDC. Um, what I want to emphasize is how important this connection between the TSU and the DDC is and working alongside the data managers has been key to implementing FAIR principles and supporting the authors in this process. 
So in terms of access to data of um, the IPCC, first of all, to remind everyone that the IPCC does not produce data um, or research as such, uh, but it reproduces data and figures or it post-processes data as part of the assessment. So the Working Group 1 uh, report has produced a very novel um, component, it's the Interactive Atlas, and this is there for um, visualising, exploring and accessing the data that's been assessed in the report. So fair data principles are implementing for the assessed data, the code that's been produced, analyses uh, to produce figures and tables, these are all documented and curated with the DDC for traceability, stability, and transparency of the assessment. Um, the FAIR principles also allow for a full implementation of the IPCC error protocol in case error are detected in data related parts of the report. So the FAIR principles are being implemented as a priority for SPM figures. And um, the Atlas chapter of Working Group 1 and the Interactive Atlas have implemented them comprehensively. And this has been key for us to be able to produce a data-driven interactive tool as part of the assessment report. We've recommended that they're implemented by chapters and now also we're working to um, work on the technical summary. And They've also been implemented for um, documenting and curating intermediate data sets that the authors have developed as part of the assessment. We recommend that um, they're also implemented when derivative products are produced either in collaboration with us or uh, by external parties. So for example, we've worked with NASA to develop the um, IPCC sea level projection tool, which is a visualization tool for the global mean sea level projection data uh, from the working with one report. So in terms of accessing data um, from the SPM, here is the um, CEDA DDC catalog for the working group one SPM figures that was released on the publication date of the report on the 9th of August, 2021. And in addition to the data, here you'll find a PDF with very detailed information about the figures, so including the full abstract and caption and so on. Um, there's also a readme file describing the data file and the figure citation that needs to be uh, used when, when reusing the figure. Um, in terms of data licensing to reuse or access and reuse the data underpinning the figures, um, first of all, the original input data, such as the CMIP6 model data, observational data sets, and so on, that are um, curated by the DDC. They're either available directly from the DDC or through linked sources, and these are under all the relevant licenses of the original data sets. We've recommended that IPCC post-process data and figure final data are distributed under Creative Commons attribution license, unless there are some conditions that um, relevant license holders' uh, interests are infringed. So obviously we, we recommend this um, to facilitate the reuse both of the data um, by research, uh, researchers, by practitioners, the media and users, anyone more broadly. Um, the IPCC products themselves, the printed matter um, falls under IPCC copyright. So text, um, graphics, maps, images that are um, can be downloaded from the IPCC website. These are protected by intellectual property laws. And uh, the IPCC copyright uh, says that you can download and copy material for personal and non-commercial use. Also a limited number of figures and parts of the IPCC reports can be reproduced, uh, for example, um, when publishing a book. And there is no charge for reusing IPCC material. And uh, it's key that the original source is properly acknowledged with the full citation, for example, where the chapter or in the SPM uh, the material comes from. And in the case of figures, um, that the full legend is reproduced as well. Um, if there are any inquiries related to reproducing uh, printed material or download material from the um, reports, uh, these can be submitted to the IPCC Secretariat. And often the TSU will work uh, with them to, um, to respond. So finally, just wrapping up um, our joint presentation, in terms of the outlook, um, of the FAIR outlook, the AR6 cycle has been uh, really important because we've established TG data as part of the IPCC and we've significantly strengthened the collaboration with the DDC and the TSUs 
and for the first time we've implemented fair data principles as part of the assessment process. So now in this last year of the assessment, TG Data will be leading a debriefing exercise with the DDC, the TSUs. We hope to involve the authors as well um, so that we can develop recommendations for future cycles. So key to this will be the implementation of um, FAIR immediately from the start of the assessment process. And this will require um, the strong collaboration uh, right from the start that this is established between um, dedicated contacts in the TSUs, the DDC, and then with TG Data. Thank you very much for listening to us.